friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? Welcome. And a special hello today to Ellis, Misha, and Joelle. Okay, why don't we start today with a couple of songs. And the first one is You're My Sunshine. I think many of you might know this. Ready? You are my sunshine. nice. Thanks for singing with me. Shall we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Okay, let's do that one as well. That reminds me of when my daughter was little, and I used to sing that to her at bedtime. Speaking of bedtime, the first book I'm going to read today is How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam their tail and pout? Do they throw their teddy bear all about? Does a dinosaur stomp their feet on the floor and shout, I want to hear one book more? Does a dinosaur roar? How does a dinosaur say goodnight when Mama comes in to turn off the light? Do they swing their neck from side to side? Do they up and demand a piggyback ride? Do they mope? Do they moan? Do they sulk? Do they sigh? Do they fall on top of their covers and cry? <laughs> no, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They turn out the light. They tuck in their tails. They whisper, good night. They give a big hug and give one kiss more. Good night, good night, little dinosaur. I hope you enjoyed that story. Shall we do a dinosaur rhyme? One second. Let's bring up my little dinosaur friend to sit with us while we do our rhyme. Okay, here we go. Now get ready to move. You're going to be moving around a little bit. Dinosaur, dinosaur, turn around. Turn around, everybody. Dinosaur, dinosaur, touch the ground. 
Dinosaur, dinosaur, reach up high to the sky. Dinosaur, dinosaur, wink one eye. Dinosaur, dinosaur, touch your nose. Dinosaur, dinosaur, touch your toes. Dinosaur, dinosaur, pat your knees. Dinosaur, dinosaur, sit down, please. <laughs> Very good. Let's sing one more song before I read our last story. So this song I just learned, and it makes me really happy to sing, and I hope it does for you too. nice. Thank you for singing with me, friends. Okay, let's read our last book, also about a little bird. It's called The Baby BB Bird by Diane Redfield Massey. The animals at the zoo had roared and growled and hissed and meowed all day long. They were very tired. Oh, it's eight o'clock, yawned the elephant, and he settled down in his big hay bed. I've eaten 562 peanuts today, he said, but no one heard him. They were all asleep. The zoo was very still until... Beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby. What? said the elephant. Is that? It's the baby baby bird, said the giraffe. He's new to the zoo. Well, tell him to be quiet, growled the leopard. I want to sleep. Beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby. Be quiet, please, said the giraffe politely. But I can't, said the baby bird. I'm wide awake. Beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby. Quiet, roared the lion. He's wide awake, explained the giraffe. Why isn't he tired like the rest of us, growled the bear. Aren't you tired, asked the giraffe. No, said the beeby bird. I slept all day and now... It's time for me to sing. Beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby. Oh dear, said the elephant, and I'm so sleepy. Beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby, beeby bobby bobby. Quiet, shouted the animals. We can't sleep. 
Beep Bobby Bobby 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 all night long. The sun rose in the morning on a very tired Sue. What can be the matter? said the keeper. The animals must be sick. The elephant is still lying down. The lion is standing on his head, and the monkeys won't swing by their tails. Oh dear me! And he hurried away. Beepy Bobby Bobby said the Beepy Bird cheerfully, and he settled down for his morning nap. The lion whispered something to the bear, and the bear nodded to the others. The baby Beepy Bird was at last asleep. Beepy Bobby Bobby roared the lion. Beepy Bobby Bobby trumpeted the elephant. Beepy Bobby Bobby growled the bear. Beepy Bobby Bobby Beepy Bobby Bobby sang all the animals together. Quiet," said the Beepy Bird. "Can't you see that I'm sleeping? It's time for my nap." Beepy Bobby Bobby Beepy Bobby Bobby Beepy Bobby Bobby. The animals roared. The keeper came running with his arms in the air. "Something is wrong," he said. "Something is very wrong with the animals. Whatever shall I do?" And he jumped up and down with alarm. "Beepy bobby bobby beepy bobby bobby," sang the animals all day long, and the baby beepy bird simply couldn't sleep at all. The sun went down and the moon came up. Beepy bobby bobby whispered the lion, who was too tired to roar. Beepy bobby bobby sighed the elephant as he closed his eyes. Beepy bobby said the monkey, half to himself, and then all was still. The moon shone down upon a sleeping zoo. Not an ear or a tail or a whisker moved. And high, high up in the linden tree, a tiny bird inside a leaf was fast asleep. And now, every day at the zoo, you can hear, "Beepy bobby bobby, beepy bobby bobby," in between the lion's roars. But at night, there is never a sound. Night time is really best for sleeping, especially for very little birds. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. I'll read another next time. Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. So let's sing our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends, and I'll see you next time.